All right, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Derf. Hello, Joel Kim, Mr. Partisan, Derpy Derp, <laughs> Tygo, Marcelo, or is it Markello? Nicodem, uh, Animations, Animation. Uh, how do you pronounce that? It's like AU, right? Like uh, like Australia, Animations, Animations. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Gethin, Fab 007. The gaming stick, pure gizmos. How's everyone doing today? Me, I am tired. I woke up like uh, not too long ago. Still, a little, still a little loopy. But uh, since we have these new tank tread parts, I figured let's go ahead and make a snowmobile, a uh, a Canadian motorcycle. We're just gonna a very <laughs> Wait a second, does this... Get, hold on, hold on. This might be a very stro uh, short stream, guys. Might be a very, very uh, short... <laughs> What's this? Oh. Yeah, MJM has been uh, tossing in some, some new parts into his mods. This is not gonna work, is it? No way. No, we need, a, we need an actual seat. All right. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Is it? <laughs> All right, stream's over, guys. I built, <laughs> I built a snowmobile. All right, now let's actually, uh, let's actually get to designing our real snowmobile. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> How did you get snow? Oh, this is a mod that I made. I made this mod uh, years ago at this point, and the last time I updated it was um, last winter, 2018-2019. Yeah, so this mod is, um, this version of this mod is already a year old. But hey, it still works because we're still in 0.3. I mean, I can fly around a little bit, I guess. Or, yeah, there's there's a flyer. Hey, I'm going to bed. You made it. Mr. Partisan is alive-ish. So yeah, there's plenty of snow. Like, well, this this isn't really about the mod, but there's plenty of snow. Um, the foliage density is like the grass, the amount of grass. So I replaced all the grass with uh, lumps of snow, little poofs of snow. Uh, you can sort of see them, yeah, right over here. Here's an individual poof that you can see. Uh, so all together, like when you crank up the density, it uh, sort of becomes very like a flat surface because there's so many poofs all together. The only thing that I don't like is how they're different colors. And uh, that changed, that changed between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. Uh, there's like randomization to the grass color um, yeah it doesn't exactly work for snow color oops there you go I have a little bit of snow down there and then I change the dust particles to uh, little snowflakes what happens when there is 0 0.4 oh that's probably gonna break a whole lot of mods the next uh, the upcoming <laughs> How do you have snow? <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, you guys. Um, yeah, the net, the upcoming update for survival mode coming, like, very, very soon. It's probably going to make... Uh, it's probably going to break every mod in existence. It's probably going to make... Uh, make? It's going to make or break. It's going to break the customizations mods. It's going to break, all like, the night mod, the snow mod. It's going to break the rain mod. It's going to break all of the stuff. It's probably going to break the character mods, too. Um... Assuming that they're actually moving with like to the new to the new uh, dwarf customization system, like the, the the custom outfits and stuff. How do you have sun? Yeah, there, there's a there's a very bright sun in the sky there. Actually, when I did the uh, Planet Namek mod, uh, part of the, prior of that phase that I was doing Dragon Ball Z mods, I did the Planet Namek mod. I changed all the trees to be those like the the Planet Namek trees. I've changed the landing pad to be a uh, 
uh, to be um, the Capsule Corp spaceship that you exit when you land on Planet Namek. Anyway, that mod, I gave three suns in the sky because Planet Namek has three suns. How do you have a life? JK, JK. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Humanism gets it. I actually don't have a life. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to building this uh, snowmobile. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's just, um, this is not, this is not actually part of my snowmobile. This is just a starting point for me. Um, we're just going to do something like this. Bam, 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 bam. And that's pretty good. Except for this. Bam. Oops. There you go. I just want it to look nice on both sides. Yeah. And that's, uh, uh-oh. Um, I can attach these together, right? The heck? Oh. Okay, there we go. There we go, that's good. There's a weird lighting thing that I'm noticing here. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, that's so... Ah. <laughs> Alright, anyway. <clears throat> Nightbot is back again. Yeah, yeah, Nightbot's back. Hey, Melbix is here as well. Glad you can make it. How do you get a life? That's a good question. I think you can buy them on Amazon or eBay. Uh, but I think, uh, I, I don't know, they usually, um... Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> alright, alright, let's, uh, let's get to, let's get, let's stay focused here. Add suspensions on both sides. Uh, of the track? I don't need to add them to the track, do I? I was gonna add them for the front, but... I mean, if, if there's any indication from all of my previous streams, I don't know what I'm doing when I go into something like this. So I'm just going to add a bunch of blocks um, and kind of hope that <laughs> it's what I need. I mean, maybe I could add suspensions. The problem is that the, the tank tricks get a little bit harder to, like, uh, set up when you're separating them, uh, you know, with bearings and suspensions in between your engine and tank tracks. Like, it gets, it gets, um, the automatic detection thing doesn't work. I mean, it's not a big deal for me, but I guess. All right, let's try to get, let's try to fit suspension in here. I'm going to do some, uh, some pro gamer moves. Where's that half block? Actually, I'll use surface panels. This is so weird that I'm building this from... Okay, I think I have to build the body first. <laughs> I don't know, this is so weird that I'm building it from the, from the tracks. It's not a good idea. So let's uh let's uh uh, uh. <laughs> When you start a stream without a plan, it's the worst. Hey Ricky, you made it. Okay. Uh so let's pretend then that this is my my suspension. Yes. Okay, <clears throat> let's also grab a bearing real quick because I wanna, uh, I wanna do something fancy. I wanna do. I'm gonna put the tracks. Oops, not there. I'm gonna put the tracks on a bearing so that they can also like tilt. I guess I wanna maybe have it like tilting, f leaning f for upward, forward. I don't know. Make more streams like this, please. Your bot still didn't ping. It did. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix that.
But yeah, if you guys want to see the uh, the Planet Namek mod, I'll, I'll I guess I'll toss that on at the end of the stream. Bunch of mods that. Uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> jeez. Bunch of mods that uh, won't work. Hey, I'm gonna give you a milk. <laughs> Donated one dollar. Hey, Derek, when can we do the next recording session? Uh, I, I'm gonna play with uh, my supporters. I think. Uh, I'm, I'm still. Uh, I was still figuring things out, but I think. Um, yeah, we'll play. We'll play some games today, maybe. First, though, let's um, save this as. Sure. I'm kind of surprised I didn't have one already named that. Jeez, like right at the top? I guess so. Yeah. E <laughs> uh, decisions, decisions. This spot or this spot? Um, let's, uh, let's just go this way. <laughs> you might be wondering why I was so indecisive about that. I'm wondering too. There we go. So now we have like a body frame on suspensions and they have half blocks so that they can't collide. And if I want to, I can put, um, um, I'm not going to be able to attach anything on there, am I? Why didn't I just put a block there? I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't know what I was thinking when I was building this. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem to just um, have the rest of the frame come out. Yes, I could cover this up. Yeah, and that hides the suspension. <laughs> uh, I need a controller. Derf, you should make a large wheel with tank treads and drive around it. What? You should make a large wheel with tank treads. You know, I was supposed to make a, uh, a giant hamster wheel out of these things. I might do that this stream too. Who knows? Try the new glitch world tool that MJM made. Uh, sometime. Not today. There we go. Did not mean to do it that much. Probably not even that much either. Holy. There we go. I just want the back to have like a little bit of a spring to it. That's why I put the bearing uh, forward a little bit. Yeah. I still have no idea. Like I, I want to do put the suspension one block below the top below the top of the tread suspension what the heck what are you talking about what one block below the top of the treads oh you you just don't like how uh, how it's compressing and there's still a gap 
No, I can't. I don't. I don't want to do that. I'm built because I want that. Uh... Oh, hey, Allison. I missed that donation, by the way. <laughs> Completely missed it. <laughs> I didn't see what the message was. I can always read super chats, even if I, even if I miss them. Yeah, I, I, I gotta leave that uh, one block gap there, just because I want this. I want this angle to happen. Anyway, let's get, uh, let's get to building the rest of this. Like, I probably shouldn't have even put these uh, surface panels here. I'm probably going to cover the entire outside with, like, a bunch of polygons to give this, uh... To give this some shape. I don't think this needs to be so tall. You can't get super chats? Oh. Oh, yeah, and I also got to remember that this thing is going to fall down a little bit, too. Um, all of this area is supposed to be like a giant seat, right? That's not... <laughs> Connects, but those... Oh! Oh, I'm a dingus. I connected them together, like a dingus. And I forgot, like a dingus. Alright. I knew this was going to happen, too. Because I'm a dingus. But... I gotta reverse all these, all these uh, tracks. Oops. There we go. There we go. So now we're moving. Wait a second. It also turns? Why? <laughs> Why? All right. I mean, I'm not exactly... How do I fix invalid joint positions, though? Uh, you don't create them in the first place. Bam. Hi, Derf. Does Edvin know that you used his snowmobile as a thumbnail? Yes, he does. Hello, Lazy Space Gaming. How the heck does it turn? It's, uh, well, it's the tank track parts. This is, this is supposed to be like a single track, and I know it's like messing with your brain a little bit, like how is this turning, but um, the left track here and the right tracks here are doing different forces left and right. So that's, um, even though the animation is the same, it's so weird. I think this is uh, like a little bit of unintended behavior for the mod. Just a little bit unintended. Because like I connected these as if they're a single track. And yet I'm still able to turn as if they're different tracks, like left and right. But they are set to different modes, so like it, it, it makes sense, but it also... I, I don't think... <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if anyone would willingly try to make this thing turn. I just sort of like fell onto that. Hey, Durf, I'm making a Disney monorail. Hmm. You need to set this to mono track. Is that a setting? Have I just, like, not paid attention? Mono track? <laughs> Have I just not... I mean, I kind of want the turning, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it, like, it might help with the... All right, let's 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 try the mono track. It's going to remove the turning, like, no doubt. The problem is I don't know if this... It, it, like, I placed one of them... Uh, yeah, no, 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 it's not going to work because I placed... I, I want the visuals. See, this, uh, this side of the track looks a little bit different than this side. So I placed one of them in reverse here. Uh, so unfortunately, that's not going to work. Mono track assumes that your that your tracks are all facing the same way. 
So this one needs to be left. Yeah, so now they're all behaving the same way as they should with uh, forward and backwards. It's just the it's just the left and right signals. I mean, I can just ignore the left and right signals entirely, but I kind of like it because uh, let's let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. If I were to do a thing like This is the best snowmobile ever. Oh my god, this is terrible. I also put... Like, this is the worst possible place to put these bearings to. It should be uh, it should be at the bottom of their legs all right so I think uh, I mean my turning is not gonna happen because of my um... oh oh I think I I think I see something wrong with this hold up hold up I see something wrong with this already let's get uh, let's get this track out of here and um, this one, you set this one to mono track. Okay, get that right in there. All right, so I'm doing this because uh, this one needs to be set to the left, I think. It already is. All right, so the, oh no. Why is mono track like the opposite animation? Oh no. Oh no, I did a I did a I did a dingus move. Hold on. I forgot to weld it. There's a mono track reverse setting. Oh okay. Wait a second. Is there <laughs> Oh my gosh, is there really? <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Yes. That is exactly what this would need, but I still the the point of me building this monstrosity up here. I'm actually going to need that uh, mono track reverse to fix this animation. I think. Maybe. No, 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 no. Actually, no. That's that's gonna that's gonna power my. Uh, it's gonna power my thing differently. Uh, wait a second. I placed it on the right side, so I might need the reversed one. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. Uh, so I would need, I would need the mono track, right, to just behave as a single track to get rid of steering entirely. But this steering in the front, I don't believe it's going to be very effective in actually steering my vehicle. So uh, the reason I, I'm just, I, I want to actually use this for some steering control, and it's going to be pretty easy to do. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. I did want the reversed on that one. There we go. It's just the animations now offset. Wait, why is it still going reverse? Stop this! Stop this nonsense now. You know what? It should be possible, actually, for me to just, um, slap one in here. Is that the way that I want it to face? I don't even know anymore. I don't know. Okay, it feels like it feels like it's fixed now. There we go. I am not steering though. That's that's a little unfortunate. Oh wait, no, I am. Is it because of the blocks though? 
In the front? I don't think so. There's no way those blocks... There's no way those blocks are actually steering this thing. I don't believe it. Yeah, yeah, it totally was not. If anything, it was preventing me from steering. <laughs> okay. Can I steer left? Cool, cool. And it's the same amount of steering for each direction, too. Cool. This kind of makes me, like, want to build a bunch of other things, too. Now that I just got, like, a single tread working. All right. All right. Out of all people to build a snowmobile, the guy that's never ridden one. Are you going to update the mod pack for survival? Yeah, probably. The thing is, I want to move I want to move away from being this guy that has to maintain this giant pack for everyone. Like I understand that uh, what I made way back when was like a super convenient thing for a lot of people because scrap mechanic mods back way back when were terrible. There was no support for anything. And uh, I don't know, the more the more updates like mod updates and game updates and there's a lot of maintenance and there's a lot of people expecting like a lot of things and it takes away time from you know things that I actually want to do or or things that other people are asking me to work on so I want to I want to move away from being this uh, this this mod pack maintenance guy basically so I can get back to actually making some mods instead of just taking care of updates and that's part of what like the the website is for that that website that I never actually get to work on <laughs> that website yeah I'll get to it eventually Okay, so I think, uh, I think let's pull out maybe some polygons and get to work on the back of the, the back of the thing. Oh, come on, Scrap Mechanic. Stop, stop doing this to my, I'm just trying to click things into my inventory. There we go. Stop scrolling for me. Actually, we probably need, uh. So snowmobiles, as far as I know, they're pretty thick boys on the sides. Something like this. And then like right around the front of the track is where they're like the thickest. The thickest with like... I don't know, four C's? Yeah. And then like right from there. Hmm. Too bad they don't work as a conveyor belt too. Yeah, the modpack beta has tried to do a conveyor belt. Using a lot of the same principles uh, as like an experiment way back when. Like uh, a part that was sort of like tossed together. Not really, not really a, like a full effort. Uh, and it does, or it was supposed to push whatever you put on it, and like, you know, if it was uh, blocks and parts or dwarves or whatever, and they were supposed to, they were supposed to work on like any angle. Hey, Mikhail, sorry you're late. You don't have to be sorry you're late. Just don't do it again. Uh, I think um, let's go with something like this. And then... Something like that. I'm just looking at a picture, uh, basically my thumbnail, for sort of uh, like flushing out the, uh, the general shape of the frame before I even get into the the, the wishbone suspension of the, the some, another thing that I've never built in scrap mechanic Derf, please build Sonic the Hedgehog video game in the mod with the mod pack uh no <laughs> jeez no that's uh that's far beyond the capabilities of scrap mechanic logic I guess um
And then maybe just uh, some normal wedges then for the front. I just realized this is odd width. What am I doing with these wedges? I mean, I guess that works. It's uh, kind of pointy, though. That's better. It's You know what? This kind of reminds me of, like, a, a Sea-Doo as well. Oh! I just realized they're like the same. They're like the same vehicle, <laughs> snowmobile and uh, and sea doo ski doo, whatever the water thing is. Durf, can you can you sometime build a Danish bus? I need to see how you make the doors. <laughs> you, you need to see. Nah, you don't. Nah, you don't. I'm. I. I you can do it. Oh, wait, I, I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? Yep. Something like that. There we go. There we go, okay. Now I think I can pull out uh, some of those wedge 31s and 43s. Okay. See you later, I'm going to bed. Do the tank tracks push blocks though? No, they don't. Hey, Rural Fairstone, you made it. You made it. Yeah, it's kind of moments like this that I wish I had uh, the new Polygon update already where I can have like a uh, one by two or three by eight. One by three by eight. To get the exact shape that I'm looking for. Ah, but it's fine. Soon. Sometime soon. another one right here I mean it's it's starting to look uh, more like a boat than anything else that's a monster snowmobile I know I know I'm gonna have to build like a like a giant figure to actually um, This is so... It's a thick boy, too. Ah. <laughs> ah. Like, the frame is super thick. Relative to the uh, to the treads, I think. I don't know. I'm just working from the proportions of, of the size of the treads. Trying to, anyway.
I guess, yeah, I guess I'm just building a boat. Oh no, wrong size. What am I doing with my life? There we go. Okay, so I think I can get, uh, it looks like a tank. Well, yeah, I mean, I am using tank tracks. But I think I can finally get rid of all these extra blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Are the te the tracks usually that exposed? I don't think so. There's also something else that I'm getting wrong, very wrong about this. This doesn't go up. I just I don't really have the polygons to do what I want. I'm building a weird boat. See you later, uh, animations. You're about to go to sleep now? Yeah, I think... <laughs> uh, I think me deciding uh, what polygons to use put a couple people to sleep. Come on, YouTube. Stop that. What am I doing? Where am I going? Tygo, you're back again. Yeah, tracks are uh, exposed about that much. Yeah. One seater. Well, it's probably going to be... Like like all of this, I'm probably going to remove at some point. Uh, and then just build a giant polygon figurine to sit on it. Because um, this is way too small. Way, way, way too small. fall off actually let's get rid of this get rid of this it's it's looking like the um like the uh, the, the water vehicle thing <laughs> I know how to speak I know English That's not going to work. There we go. There we go. 
It's a, like, what is, what am I doing? I'm building a weird torpedo thing. Hey, boy, man. Derf, are you gonna make videos on survival mode? Probably, probably. If I don't completely quit YouTube by then, probably. Oh, I can't put it there. Um, yeah, I need blocks. Need some blocks. Okay. I mean, it's not super bad, but. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Durf, when and if uh, you have time, I can maybe show you how to play Space Engineers, maybe. Um, I don't even know if I have the game. Dingus. Okay. Get that one by four, which thirty one. When I get it, I, I don't know if I'm going to get it, man. And probably not. I barely play even with my supporters so <laughs> i don't know man it's it whenever like I, I barely even play video games for my own amusement anymore uh it's just generally like i don't know <laughs> whenever i play something I, that's but that's probably why i get so distracted when i'm trying to work too uh but whenever i try to like play something because um because like I, I actually want to amuse myself, I end up just feeling bad because I'm like, well, I could be using this time to work on something instead. So then I just stop playing whatever I'm playing and go work on something. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's what that's what it's like. So, um, yeah, the little free time that I actually have, uh, I'd rather just like, I don't know, play with whatever my supporters want to play. Ooh, I don't think I was supposed to put that there. Okay, so then can I just build a... Uh, wait, how do... Why do snowmobiles have like a weird windshield? So MGM added those these windshield parts back into his mod. Are these new ones or are these the ones from the legacy supports? I wonder. Delta, you're 47 minutes late. How dare you? Our mods still gonna work in creative when survival comes out. Um, not, not a, a lot of mods are probably not gonna work. That's a safe bet to make. All right, so the mods were able to load together. Uh oh, that's right. Part glass modular. Could have sworn those uh these things. They're all block not found. So they 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 are different parts then 
than what MJM put in his mod. Alright, so let's get this, 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 and this. And uh, just build a straight up glass windshield, I guess. Ah, uh, that doesn't that doesn't work. Hmm. I'll move it one back. One block back and then it'll be perfecto. Yeah, I got to talk to MJM. Uh, I think um I think these uh, uh, modular glass parts are amazing, and um, I don't know. I guess like part of the reason why I, I really want to get that website finished once and for all is just uh, just like the the confusion of like dealing with parts made by several different mod makers all in a giant pack and and you know updates and ah so much so much pain. But I would love to see, um, I would love to see, like, an expanded set of modular window stuff. Where am I trying to put this? Where am I trying to put this? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's right, I need this little guy. Forgot, I forgot how to build with these parts. Come on, come on. This isn't a very good windshield, guys. <laughs> this is not a very good windshield. Um, I Yeah, I regret everything. I regret absolutely everything. We're taking it down. All of it. Ah, ho-hum. Let's pull out the new stuff. Interesting, interesting. I don't really need a like this, this kind of weird framework. What the heck? Is this tiny. This is so tiny. What the heck? <laughs> Why is this so tiny? Okay, um, you know, this one, this one might be, yeah, this one might be worth using. I just need the, uh, the other side of it. Oh, and this is the middle, I think? Or, wait, what is this? What is this? Yeah, it should be, it should be the middle of this. I just don't know what's going on with this rotation. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go. There we go. This is actually turning out to be like the perfect windshield for this. All 
All right, so how does this thing, uh, how does this thing paint? Pretty much just the framework. Okay, I guess that's all right. We'll just go with black for now. I mean, that's not bad. It's just, it's like really tiny for the chonker that this snowmobile is. Jerf, the crazy frog didn't work for you. Um, did you include the mods? All right, all right. Let's uh, let's get working on this front area here. I might need your guys' help with the wishbone suspension. If there's any blueprints that you guys made that like shows a great example of how to set it up, definitely point me to it. Uh, I don't know if it'll show up in the in the chat though. Like I don't know, maybe post it in, in soup in Discord or something like that, or the Scrap Mechanic channel in my Discord. So I think, uh, let's see, from, it's like way in the front too. I could make the nose pointier too. I probably should make the nose pointier too. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of all this one by one stuff. And we're gonna go Super point. There, you know he's got a point. Her, 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 her. Okay. <laughs> Just ignore when I <laughs> when I'm uh, really terrible. What am I doing? What am I doing? Those need to be regular wedges. There we go. There we go. That's looking better, I think. Oh, yeah. Stranded Gamer, you like the music? Well, that's good. Because I don't. Because <laughs> I don't. Uh, stop asking if you exist. Who? Guys, do you exist? Tony Skell? Tony Skell, YT hates school? Why do you hate school, man? As far as I know, school didn't do anything but neglect your problems. Which, like, it doesn't have an obligation to pay attention to your problems. So, what did school ever do to you? I mean, school, in general, can be a terrible place because there's terrible people at school. But that's not, uh, that's, that's got nothing to do with school itself. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get to this. Uh, let's get to this front thing. Don't you like it when you rotate a block too much? I mean, you can rotate the other way. See, like, uh, let's let's go maybe this way so we can see. Uh, so we're rotating uh, clockwise, right? But then you just hold Shift and Q and you rotate counterclockwise. So it's not such a big deal. Um that you rotate too much, but it's just, like it's more about the mod maker, I guess, because uh, it's up to the mod maker to make their rotation sets as efficient as possible, to make it easier for players to use their parts. So I, I wouldn't, uh, like it's not that big of a deal. It's just some mod makers don't care about their rotation sets at all and uh, will toss every 
possible combination of rotation in there, even if it's just a, a cube. Like, they'll, you can just rotate a cube any number of ways that doesn't matter. It's weird. I don't know. Not really, not really a big deal, though. Not important. Uh, so this... Well, I'm thinking, like, right here. Okay, let's see if uh, anyone in, uh, anyone did anything in the Discord. Soup or Scrap Mechanic? I mean, a bunch of people joining. How do I get Durf to read these? Ah, uh, jeez. Stop sending things like that because you're literally making me get the impression that every time I look at chat... It's people asking me how do I how do I read their read my message read like you guys want to interact with me say what you actually want to interact with me with stop saying derf read my message say something say something else say something better paste it in soup ah okay I see that's actually very clear thanks all right let's do this let's do this uh. Um, er, uh, <laughs> it's not actually as clear as I thought. Um, wait, the picture that I see has like, uh, that, like the my thumbnail has like three bars for each side. Oh wait, yeah, so does yours, I guess. I have no idea what I'm doing. First time I'm building. First time building. Uh, this kind of suspension. Guys, you spent. <laughs> I had my Discord scrolled to the image, and then you guys start chatting in the Discord, <laughs> and then I don't see it anymore. What? Uh, okay. So then this is like the innermost. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, there needs to be one above it, like here, and another one above it, like here. Why is it so like offset? I guess. And then between... No, wait. Yeah. The heck am I looking at? Alright, let's try... Uh, do they have to be, like, one block apart? Or can it just be, like, um... Can it be like this? I'm just asking about like the space in your drawing Lego Freak. You put a lot of spacing in between your bearings. It can be close, okay? Yeah, because I just I like the the height of this suspension. I'm gonna do something like this and hope that it works. Just hope, hope, hope. Then we need. Uh, wait, no, this this can't be attached like this. Oh my god, none of these can be attached like this. What am I doing? Guys, this like a why is a wishbone suspension confusing me so much?
So what? Which parts? Which parts are actually attached to the the like the body? The higher ones just have to fit a spring. I know. Yeah. Okay. That that actually is a little bit of a problem, but I don't know which bearings are actually connected to the body of the thing. Like I'm guessing the bottom right and the bottom or the the upper right. Durf, change the music. You know what? I'm just gonna ban you from my chat. I'll get I'll get you know new music when I get new music, but I'm not a I'm not a freaking jukebox. Don't request songs from me. I'm building a thing. The purple line is the body. Yeah, okay. Wait, so then the three bearings on the right are all connected. Whew. All right, let's try it. Oh, you know what? These things can come in so handy. No, they can't. <laughs> no, they can't. I need uh, I need pipe pieces that uh, do fancy things. So yeah, as far as I can tell, like I don't know what's connected to what though. That's so unfortunate. This image. Like, I, I'm gonna assume this is it, like this. No, it's not, because I need it to go up. As well. But then what's the point? What's the point of connecting these two bearings like this? Like, there is no point to that. So, this is supposed to be, okay. Oh my gosh, this is, I'm sorry Lego Freak, your drawing is confusing AF. Okay, so they're not connected, and then this, the purple line goes above oh my god i can't i can't lower this anymore okay so the purple line goes about like over this one and is not connected uh and then we just go yeah up again just connect to the top bear like again what's the point what's the point of connecting these bearings in this way there's no point at all so I'm clearly building something wrong here there's no point to, to doing that connection the purple line is the body that is already there what the heck <laughs> what Oh my gosh, dude, your your drawing is confusing AF. <laughs> oh no. Okay, it's already there. Okay, 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 I think I'm getting it a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> Just maybe. Uh, okay, and then we gotta... Two, three. Three, then we'll, I guess, put the suspensions way out here. Because that makes sense. And then the actual skis. All the way out here. 
You know, I will change this song though. I, I understand the drawing a little bit more now. The problem that I <laughs> didn't think through is that the suspension has to go above a thing. Or through a thing, I should say. Part of me wants to also, like, try to angle this, uh, these suspensions so that, they're, like, I don't need these 90-degree bars here. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh. 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 Okay, never mind, never mind. Forget forget these suspensions ever existed. I'm a dingus. I'm a dingus. If you get done with a snowmobile, can you test out the glitch welder? Uh, I, I kind of already promised that I'm going to show you guys the uh, Planet Namek mod um, from last year as well, I think. Alright, uh, the spring needs to be on... The spring needs to be on... Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. Wait, how? What? Okay, so you mean like this. Okay, this is actually good. This is a somewhat good thing. Dingus. So many bearings. All right, there we go. Is that actually connected? I guess I hope it is. <laughs> All right, so this is actually a great thing. Uh because this was in the way of my suspension before, but now it's not. Um, go right here. Alright, so I guess from the picture, I just need to extend out, yeah, just finish out uh, this stuff right here, and then we're done. Pasted a modified pick and soup to show that the bearing 
the, the bearing that's on the controller. Oh, okay. Okay, and then this, uh, this is what I do with, uh, why am I doing it like this? Let's face it outwards. Like, I, I feel like I built this so backwards. I want the suspensions facing the front or something like that, you know? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't matter because the, even in my thumbnail, the suspension's behind these bars. Yeah, but if I build uh, if I build these bearings facing outwards or forwards like this, uh, then the skis that I build are gonna basically hide this ugly corner here. And look at me not using invisible bearings for all those mini pipes. I have the darn invisible bearing too, right here. All right, so uh, yeah, let's see that uh, modified pick. It's just the top one, right? Yeah. I could also adjust the stiffness. I don't know how it works. I don't know how any of this stuff works. I only pretend to know what I'm doing. And all of you that hit the subscribe button were convinced that I know what I'm doing. Uh, I should probably put something on this to test actual... You need to add steering bearing? Yeah, that's going to be on the actual uh, skis themselves, though. I, I think that's how they work. Uh, so, I mean, we can just build um, really terrible skis in the meantime. Like, really, really bad skis. Let's, um, do something a little silly. Where is it? There it is. Is there someone spamming in my chat? I mean, I never, <laughs> I haven't seen it. I just see a bunch of uh, moderation messages. Um, to the person that's like spamming in the chat, you do realize that uh, YouTube is eventually going to consider you a problem, right? Like if you're a problem user, then YouTube itself can just ban you from the whole site. It's not a smart thing that you're doing. Just, um, just letting you know. I mean, that's what the report function is for. Oh yeah, that's what these um that's what these things are for. They're for steering. Uh so I suppose I mean those <laughs> All right. That, I mean, th these skis are so bad. Oh no, what's going on? Did I forget to weld that thing together? Such a dingus sometimes. Like a mega dingus. There you go. All right, so let's uh, let's let's pump this uh, engine up a little bit. I want to get uh, a good idea of the performance of this thing. Should be it, right? All right, do I have my paint tool? Just make sure I do. So we need one, two, just like that. One for this, one for this. All right. 
Yeah, so that's nice and fast. That's a kind of a little bit of a slow turn, though. I don't know. It could be faster. Hit a tree. Let's try it twice as fast turning. Might be too fast now. But hey, it, like it's not like I've ever ridden a snowmobile, so I don't know the actual performance of one. Five. I don't know. I think uh, I think I need to turn this off for the time being. Just go one, two, three. The sort of setting that I had before. But I need to find uh, I need to find the proper speed setting. I think. And I think this might be it. Oh, look at the beautiful wishbone of the... Oh. <laughs> Whoa there, bud. Alright, I think I'm also going to... Um, Wow, that's got a lot of torque. Got a lot of torque. I think uh, I think I need one of those um, red switches. There's a function of the tank engine that if you connect a red switch, it's like a neutral gear is added. So with the switch activated, there we go. I just tapped my acceleration, now we're sliding in. Why are you doing the thing that is not the thing that you should be doing? Yeah, you were thinking that too. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, the person- the people having multiple accounts. Yeah, that's what I- that's what I was saying, um, like... Doesn't matter if you have multiple accounts, man. YouTube as a website, as a web server, like they log all of your activity on the website. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have multiple accounts or not. If one of your accounts is reported for that, then they're gonna ban the IP address, like the, the internet service provider that you even use. Like they, they know who you are. <laughs> Don't even, well, like you can't fight Google on that stuff. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's like thing. It's like uh, It's like wondering, like, um, you know, you, especially in Canada, there's uh, usually like only two major internet service providers. Um, so it's kind of silly when a Canadian thinks like that they have any privacy whatsoever on the internet. Oh yeah, use a VPN then. Use a VPN. Like no, that does all you're doing. All you're doing is taking like in, instead of giving your information, because that's basically the way to see it. Uh, your browsing history, the time that you spend on certain websites. The, the, like the URLs that you actually visit, your uh, service provider can see all of that. Um, all you're doing by using a VPN is taking all of that information and encrypting it so your uh, your internet service provider doesn't see it, but then the VPN service is technically able to see it. Even if you agree, even if you sign up for like a terms of service that says, well, we value your privacy, like technically speaking, you gotta read the fine print, they can technically store that information for marketing purposes, like a lot of companies do. Uh, your internet service provider, like they said, like I said, they know the URLs that you visit, the the time that you spend on certain websites, your general browsing activity. So they get they put that in like a database for uh, like psychological profiles, basically, um, so that they see like what, like if you can just imagine having like millions of information, that kind of information on people, then you can sort of like start to run experiments like let's say you show a certain type of advertisement um because like your internet service providers do work with like google and other companies to, like they're they, they have ad networks specifically to abuse that information that they collect on you so anyway <laughs> uh why am i why is this like such a weird tangent the point is the point is um like the companies like that have a heck of a lot more information on you than you think you even let out. Uh, like, like you think your school has information on you because they know where you live and things like that, and they have like your your grades and subjects, and and they have like a profile on how your mind works, almost sort of. 
but that's like the school's not even trying to do that companies like google and your internet service provider they're trying to do that they're trying to collect all this information to put into a database to profile you and then like they can compare you to other types of people and see what works effectively for you to basically extract the most money out of you <laughs> that's that's the business world but the point is the point is then that if there's actually like a problem for anybody on YouTube, there's like a problem account. Um, that's why I wear a tinfoil hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's just surprising. Like people don't actually know that the world that they live in, it's uh, it's a really weird place to think about. Like, like if you think about, you know, in the 80s, people, I there was more people that were actually well versed in the developing technology of like computers and microchips. Uh, then there, it, like a higher percentage of that population was actually well versed in that. And then today, people are just like, "Well, I'm just gonna pull out the magic box out of my pocket. I don't know how it works. Looks like a bar of soap to me, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> it's waterproof, like one now too. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's weird how people like don't understand the world that they live in. What am I even talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, like if if there is a problem account, like. Yeah, multi accounts don't matter whatsoever. Even if you used, even if you used a different VPN service for every single different alternate account that you have, Dingus, your alternate accounts are connected to like the same email, and your email services can track your IP addresses too. And guess what? If it's all owned by Google, Google can tell, like, Google can see, wow, this email address was logged in by this guy and this, <laughs> the same person, like, years ago. Who knew they're the same per- like, they, they have that information on database already. Don't, don't even challenge Google like that. It's so funny. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, what was I actually doing? What was I here for? I have- oh, oh, that's right, that's right. I wanted to change this to a smart engine. Because uh, I don't like how stiff. I don't like how stiff that. Um... Oh. Ah, stomach issues. I don't like how stiff that uh, controller was making this tilt. So I'm gonna toss a bunch of smart engine stuff I up in here and help me get the perfect suspension. Uh, which, by the way, if you guys didn't know, you can use the smart engine for bearings, like, uh, what, what's the word? Just suspension with bearings. Like, you can use it like a controller. Which, by the way, I might even, I mean, this is pretty good, as is. But I could also use a smart engine to tweak the, the front suspension behavior as well. Alright, so, because this is bearing, I need three settings. Uh, speed to get there, power to get there, and the angle to set. Oh wait, but then I also need um, a stiffness setting. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna set it to, I think I set it to 10 degrees. Uh, in the controller. So there's 10 degrees. Uh, the speed that we're gonna get there is relatively fast. 30 degrees per second, I think. The power that we're gonna use is 2000 power. Probably very low for the time being. And I don't know what stiffness is, so we're going to just put it at, uh, does it say? Does it say what it's out of, like the range? 100 stiffness is default. Oh, oh, right, right. It's like a, like, almost like um, like a reciprocal. Not, not a reciprocal. Like the, uh, just the relationship. Like it exponentially gets stronger the farther it is from its target, or something like that. So, let's make that. Um, yeah, just 100. 100 is like a multiplier for that behavior. So if I increase it, it's gonna get stiffer the farther it is from its target. I know it's a little we weird to think about stiffness in terms of, like, power and stiffness, because they, they're almost the same thing, but not really. Oh, that's not good. Alright, so that's too much power. 
because we're definitely sinking down a little bit. Um, let's just reset that to zero. And this is 100, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking at. <laughs> it looks normal. I think this is what I want. I, like, I think this is exactly what I want. Maybe. Oh, I forgot to turn on that switch. There we go. It's got way too much kick to it, though. So much kick. Uh, I mean, I could probably fix that just by adding a ton more weight. Oh yeah, that, I forgot. I forgot. Like these things aren't working. Why aren't they working? How did I manage to break this? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Let's do this. No, I can't do that. Okay, that might work. And I can still turn. Good. Alright, alright. Fix the t tank tracks. Jeez. Hey, dear, if you're bad at Scrap Macnick. Mackinick? It's Scrap Macnick. With an E. What is going on with this? Like, do you see this? The behavior of this? What the heck? Am I getting some weird, uh, uh, like, suspension glitches happening? What the heck, dude? Do the tracks have a torque acceleration option? I don't think so. I think it's just the speed. Which is a little bit unfortunate because, um... Like, I could set up some other number logic to actually program the acceleration, I guess. But 1, 2, 3, 4 is, uh, slightly slower. But, like, it's... Like, what is this wheelie nonsense? That shouldn't even work in Scrap Mechanic. And then going in reverse, like, did you see that, uh, like, hiccup? See, why did I just stop all of a sudden? What the heck? I think it's something to do with these tracks that I have um, set incorrectly again. Okay, so here's what we're going to do then. Come on, tracks. Work with me here. Mono track reversed. Is that what I want it? That's... Why would you... I mean, this is literally the behavior that you guys were looking for since the start of the stream. And it works because only only one track is powered. Okay, but then if I just do this, 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 you should work, right? Oh! The turning's back. What is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh. All right, all right. Let's let's disconnect that. See if it still happens. Jeez, does it still happen with um Well, obviously not, cuz I don't have the same power that I did before. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? There's definitely something weird going on here. Like, what is this? What is any of that? I think there's some weird forces being applied from from the tank tracks. When they hit the top, when they hit the surface of the... 
when they hit this surface, basically. Seems like it. I have no idea, man. Has there been for me all the time? Wait, what? Has been there for me all the time, and I want to say thanks. Please, can someone get Durf to say this? Thanks, can anyone see this? What the heck? Yeah, man, we can see it. I just don't look at chat very often. It's way too much torque. There's gotta be, uh, there's gotta be a setting for that. There's the glitch welder part. Where's the tank engine? There it is. Yeah, there's no, like, torque setting or anything like that. So, uh, really what it comes down to is, what's going on over there? My suspension is through the ground. Great. No, I'm, I, I, I know how the tank tracks work a little bit, so I have an idea, like a vague idea of what's going on with this. It's just, I, I don't think there's anything that I can do to fix that right now. So this isn't too bad. It definitely gets rid of the, the torque issue, I think. Sort of not really. See, look at this. What is this? What is this, MJM? <laughs> what is this? You can make a flying creation if your tank treads are rubbing up against your, your own creation. Like, why? Ah, oh, glitches, glitches, glitches. I mean, it is, it, it's an experimental mod part for a reason. <laughs> this is so... Ah. Uh... Why, like, why? Why does this happen to me? No, it's magic. Lol, maybe try reloading it? No. No, no, it's it's the thing that I said that, um... Here, I'll show you guys what I mean, I guess. Maybe I can build a little thing that just works, like, right out of the box. Uh, as a flying device. All right, all right, let's get, um... I, I just realized I'm not gonna ta detach this from the ground. Okay, cool. Build some blocks. Doesn't really matter too, too much. Gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. I'm already a dingus. So right now I'm trying to build a, uh, I'm trying to build a glitch flyer, a new type of glitch flyer. Do I have my bearings? I don't, okay. So right at the bottom, sure, and Right at the top. All right, so you gotta do this. Yeah, we'll do one more. This, 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 this. Some more bearings. Alright, so this thing is basically, uh, the, the point of this is just to like fall down and make contact with this so we rub up against it and then just fly. Um, let's just go ahead and make it fly somehow with magic. Yeah, 
Yep, that's the way to do it. So, let's get those number logic parts. Yeah, there we go. Set speed. I don't need turning angle at all, actually. Set speed to something ridiculously high. And um, just for, I guess, the sake of... There we go. We have uh, a little stand. All right. Wow, wow, told you guys, told you guys. Easy, easy peasy. Come on, stay in the air, stay in the air. No! <laughs> uh, <laughs> now make it a broom. <laughs> now make it, I mean, you could have made uh, like a broomstick, a flying broomstick much easier. Vroom! 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 Santa Slay just got an upgrade. Vroom! <laughs> <laughs> like, this, I mean, come on. This or the snowmobile that I built down there? Which one's better? <laughs> to be honest now. <laughs> oh, that's great. Vroom! <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. No, 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 blah, 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 blah. Oh. Aw. All right. So let's put this on the workshop, because you guys are going to love this. <laughs> As Vroom! <laughs> Uh, um, um, S to fly forward, W to fly, um, backwards. They're in quotations because you'll see, you'll see, uh, you'll see soon enough. Wait, did it not go in my... There we go. Vroom! Share that on the workshop. Is this a Mazda commercial? Vroom vroom? <laughs> uh, isn't it zoom zoom? Or is it vroom vroom? Did I change universes again? Am I am I passing through the multiverse and I got uh, those... What, what were they called? The... the uh, there's a name for that effect. I, I forget it now. Uh, anyway, the thing is... Um, things public. You can search up vroom on the workshop. I'm pretty sure all it needs is just sci-fi mod and polygons because I use the block. Unfortunately, yeah. I'll just uh, I'll just comment it. Uses um sci sci-fi mod and Oh, oh, and the number logic, too. Alright, I just posted it as a comment on my own thing. What the heck, Melbix? You posted a comment before me. You cheater. Summon Durf Discord. What are you talking about? I'm needed in Discord? What am I needed in Discord for? Jeez, like 108 messages? What are you guys doing in Discord? <laughs> is it ending? No, 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 no. It's not ending. It's not ending. This is just a distraction that I had. Uh, from the snowmobile that's down there that I never saved. Vroom! Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. This is this is a lot of fun. I mean, you know what? I could probably add steering to this. Cause like right now I'm just timing my my bursts to vroom. <laughs> just timing my bursts to you know. Ah ah ah. But hey, if you guys actually play around with this, let me know of your best airtime er, down in the comments of the stream VOD. Alright, alright. Enough of that. Enough of the vroom vroom. How do you get the snow? It's a mod that I made. Uh, you should be able to find it on my second channel, Scrap Mechanic Mods. But don't expect it to work after the next update. 
All right, so this is actually what we're doing here. And yeah, the, the, the point, that's right. I was trying to get rid of that, uh, that glitch. That's the whole point of this. I was getting rid of the glitch. Ah, uh, so then how can I get rid of it? You know, I think I know how I can get rid of it. Big brain incoming. Incoming big brain. Who knew you need ice to create a snowmobile? Wait, is it really not gonna let me put... Oh, I can't attach blocks there, no! <sighs> okay, still not a problem, still not a problem. No problems, no problems whatsoever. Totally no psychological issues brewing whatsoever. I'm really just lucky that uh, that I have enough room over here to work with uh, because I made this a thick boy. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go like this. Boop. Right across. And boop. And just make sure that's uh, welded all over. All right, so that's uh, gonna prevent, gonna prevent the tracks from making quote unquote contact in this direction. Yeah, this direction was the problem too. Shoot, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Because, like, the, the back is also a little bit of a, an issue as well. Where's that bearing? It's right there. Ah, uh, okay. All right, all right. I'm going to just, uh, I guess, rebuild a lot of this out of... Well, I can't... Oh, shoot! Uh, <laughs> I'm so frustrated with this because I can... Like, for example, if I just build... what? Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? If I just build this part out of ice... Uh, the same glitch is gonna happen. I'm pretty sure anyway. Where's that vroom vroom? Vroom, let me show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. I just gotta meticulously replace these blocks so that nothing gets destroyed. Uh, that's gonna get destroyed. Well, no, I mean, there's only, yeah, it's only making contact with the one track, so I don't need to worry too much. Alright, so the point, the point of this is that, uh, even the ice, yeah, even the ice is gonna feel the impulse of the vroom vroom. So, I can't build... I can't build my body framework out of uh, out of the ice. I have to I have to build a, a ice sheet on top of the. Is there like um? This thing has no. Oh, I already have it. <laughs> this thing has uh, a smaller collision area, and yeah, this thing has a smaller collision area. Oops. Why? What am I doing? Steel building with this? There we go. And uh, it doesn't have any friction at all. It's actually like zero. It's actually set to zero. So as long as this is connected to the tracks themselves, I shouldn't have any issues like uh, like this, for example. And then just to like prove my point, uh, let's force this guy to stay away. 
There you go. Yeah, yeah. So if it, if it's built like directly on the tracks, then it doesn't affect the it doesn't affect the creation as a whole. So it doesn't count as like touching it. And that's exactly what I'm looking for from these things to help protect There you go. Help protect the body of my creation from going nuts. See, look at that. So now it just it like rubs up against the seat. There you go. And the tracks aren't going to uh, you know give any impulses to the the, the framework. The wheeling is still a little bit much, though. The vroom, it's too strong. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I think, uh... I think we're mostly good to go now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Do I not have the steering? I don't, actually don't have steering anymore. Ah, uh, it's okay. I guess we're gonna go with uh, some glitch steering in here somewhere. Try to search mini and the mini pipes don't show up. Weird. <laughs> let me inside here and let me see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. I don't, I usually I don't like the glitch steering thing because it's kind of like a lazy solution, but in this case, I don't mind. There's a lot of things that, uh, that I'm cutting corners on. Could be a little bit, uh, better turning, but, oh wait, no, didn't I set this to zero? Or 30? Yeah, I set it to 30. That's right, I have no... Hmm... I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> it's gonna break my tank treads again, but whatever. Oh, it's so much worse. The Vroom. The Vroom is doing things. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, but you know what? Shoot. Can I do this instead, though, maybe? No, I can't. I can't. Alright. I'm, uh, I'm getting frustrated because I, I, I'm, I'm trying to do something with the extra treads. I'm trying to make them useless, basically, but... Engine. Engine. There we go. So I need a second engine. I guess we'll start actually tossing things in where they're supposed to be. The Vroom is so Vroom AF. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bro, it's Vroom AF. Okay, so we are going to need two of them. Uh, and luckily we have plenty of room in there. Um, yeah. Okay, so speed, you go there. Um, I'm gonna t uh, hide another hidden speed way in there. Just set it at zero. There you go. Uh, we are also gonna get hide some logic gates in there because I want I want that switch that I put on. Uh, I want that on by default. And uh, I hope it doesn't have to be a switch. I hope MJM actually made it a logic. So this one's going to be the neutral engine, and that's going to power the outside. 
So the outside treads are basically just going to be rolling around, and it's just the center tread that's the drive, and no steering. Um, this guy... Whoops. Whoops. Just like that. I hope I don't need to, like, reset all my tracks now because I did that. <laughs> it does kind of work like a conveyor belt. <clears throat> Thank God I'm not banned. <laughs> Were you the person that I was just like, I'm going to ban you? <laughs> I think I only put you in a timeout. <laughs> hey, Kraken, Kraken Gibbs. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay. I think, um... Let's just put a block seat in here, because I'm prob probably going to build a figurine for myself. My, my, my build, anyway. Seat. Block seat. Hidden block seat. There you go. So it's going to look like this when you're in it. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious about the direction of this this thing now. So if that speed is set to zero, do I need... I don't think I need this input. I don't think I need this. Oh, I'm supposed to connect that logic gate to both of them. There we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot my skis. Forgot completely. Completely forgot about them. Uh, I don't know if I like this. Can I still do this to, like... I, I can't because they, they're powered by a, di a different engine. Shoot. I want to, like, synchronize their animations, but, like, just visually. I want their performance to be from two different engines. Ah! Ah! Durf, will it be on Steam? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to post this just like I posted the Vroom. Vroom! You mean Mimic Block? Um... I mean, there, it, it's still technically a possibility that I can, uh... Do I have the... I, I already got rid of the engine. There's still a possibility that I can... Just do this. Uh, but then I gotta... I really gotta turn down that speed. No, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. This is not making sense to me. Let's uh, let's reset that. We'll go speed twenty, I guess. It, like it's it shouldn't be too slow though. That's the problem. I'm probably gonna have to eventually program in uh, an acceleration function. Or I might just keep it at this speed, because honestly, this is this is working nicely. Uh, yeah, not this though. <laughs> do 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 do. <laughs> do you do streams daily or no? Um. I'm, I think I'm going to try to do streams daily. I don't know. There are lots of different games I want to play. Like, um, like if I start, if I get into uh, Mario Maker, I'm probably going to stream that on Twitch a lot. And then uh, lazily, you know, edit out all the uh, all the times in between the actual levels and, and retries. Uh, like a lot of Mario Maker YouTubers do. Uh, so I'll, the live show for that will probably be on Twitch. Uh, and then I'll just post the, the, the recorded footage then. Durf Minecraft when? Uh, 2024. I must go. My people need me. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> that sounded... Oh my god, that sounded so nonchalant like I didn't care. No, I mean, I, I just meant to say bye. I didn't mean to be like, yeah, see you later. 
<laughs> uh, see ya. See ya, Allison. Jeff, can you give a non-Steam download link for Modpack and Modpack Beta? Mad Madpack. Um, no. I cannot. Oh, yeah, I still have that, uh... Suspension steering in there that I'm not using anymore. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, so then I don't actually need... Uh-oh. I don't actually need any of this to be... Yeah, I don't need any of this here anymore. None of this is needed. Erm. Erm. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do about the sides here. I guess I'm going to put a seat. Like a fake seat here. I didn't actually need this here, <laughs> and I just finished deleting it, but... Whatever. I have no idea what I'm doing with the sides here. Really, the sides don't matter. Or they shouldn't matter. I'm missing all of my build surfaces. There we go. Get back up there. <clears throat> oh my god, it's the comet, huh? Snowmobile time, please. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 doing that. Definitely a uh, ski do see you looking thing, but um, you know you just uh, you, you 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 drive it on frozen water. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Why are all my builds a failure? Uh. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. So I guess, I guess uh, back here I'm gonna do. I don't know. Some I I really don't know what I'm doing right now. This is artistic licensing because I don't know anything about snowmobiles. I was just thinking about like a little a little something flare in the back. The suspension for the back has to be redone. What are you talking about? It has to be redone. You have to be redone. <laughs> I, I seriously don't know what you're talking about though. I mean, it's looking pretty good, all right. Uh, all right, all right, already. It's looking pretty good for me thinking that it's a complete failure. Hey, 
Hey, Crafty Alex TV, how's it going? All right, I think we're, uh, you know, painting this is gonna be also another challenge. What do I do to the front? I just realized I kind of have to like cover all this too. And I can't do it with, uh, I can't do it on the angles that I want because there is no such thing as a one by two by one. Yeah, there is actually. What am I thinking? Oh no, but there isn't. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Say mine if you want to, Minecraft. What? Say mine if you want to Minecraft? Is that what you're trying to say? I have no idea what you're getting at, man. Uh. Yeah, I think, um. I think this is what it's looking from me. Okay, and then we'll do the, uh, the, 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 the nose, the, this thing, right here. All right, this is a uh, It's weird how like uh, before I even placed anything down. I had no idea what I was gonna do uh, And then you just like I don't know play around with some polygons and all of a sudden Durf uh, you don't talk much. Oh, yeah, I was just like super concentration thinking mode Even though it looked like I wasn't doing much anything complicated at all <laughs> uh, Yeah What's with the obsession about uh, Minecraft anyway? I've never played Minecraft in my life friend uh, tried to get me into it once and he's just like check out this redstone I think it was a mod at the time or something I don't even know but I guess redstone's in the actual game now what did you miss oh you missed everything dude you missed everything and then some you missed vroom dude you missed I can't even show you I can't it's, it's your fault you missed it it's your fault you missed it I think we can improve this just a little bit by, um... Not doing the... the cone, I guess? Uh, never mind. Never mind, I, re I regret. I regret. I still want to try it, though. Uh, you know, it's not bad, actually. It's not bad. I was kind of concerned about what I was going to do here. But this isn't too bad. It's kind of just like a, a, you know, deflecting snow away from the treads. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. So, I'm going with that. Here, does it work if I... Eh, eh, 
It works enough. Yeah, that's good. There you go. Durf, how have you never played Minecraft? Um, I just never played it. Very simple. I was doing a lot of uh, other things with my time during that time. Very different things during that time. I don't know, I still feel like I have to do something about that area down there. Uh, I definitely have to, yeah, I definitely have to finish this whole side. Get that one by eight. Okay, looking good. One more, I think. Yeah, yeah, just one more. Hold on, I gotta look at the other side again. I have to go now, so goodbye, Durf. I enjoyed the stream. See you later, Potato Man. And Tony Scale, you're also leaving for school? Oh, no, wait. Someone's, I, I think that was um, somebody else that said that a while ago. Jeez, oh, why did I read your message and then completely brain fart? Somebody else said that they were leaving for school, but, like, isn't it too late for school already? It's a Sunday. What are you talking about? Someone's trolling in my chat, like, way earlier. Never mind. Never mind. Or, or my brain is just, like, super farting. I think it's the brain thing, guys. <laughs> I'm running low on brain juices. Yeah, and then the last, uh, the last one by eight, right here. Okay, uh, let's. I guess also bring that shield inwards just a little bit. Might as well. Yeah, just something like that, I guess. Um, you need that there, and this there, this here. I'm, I'm already confused. I think I'm building both sides differently, but then also not. Man, my brain is... <laughs> why, why does my brain just stop working? It's a, Oh, it's because I'm over that two-hour mark on my stream. That's why. I'm not allowed to stream over two hours, guys. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm liking that a little bit better. All right. Oh, that's looking so good. I mean, it's it's kind of, it looks like a very strange very strange snowmobile, but um, it's definitely the brain juices. It looks like you need a refill. I know, right? All I had to eat slash drink this morning, and I started like I started streaming as soon as I woke up, pretty much. Uh, but all I had to drink was not even a cup of coffee. 
Not even one. Um, do I even bother getting rid of this? It doesn't really matter what blocks are in here. I'm not too, I'm not super, super worried about it. Yeah, I think let's just uh, paint this thing and then maybe build a little figurine. This thing's already painted pretty well though. <laughs> Gray and a black stripe. Uh, Durf, can you paint treads? No, you cannot paint the treads themselves, but you can paint like the framework that they're on. Uh, which, I guess. I mean, orange is a color that I don't usually build with or paint paint with, just because it's like the default color for everything, but... Well, except for a giraffe. Speaking of giraffe, let's get a giraffe out here. Heard giraffe drop logic. No, I want... Uh... Alright, we want, we want a herd giraffe. There you go. You'll just explore the world. And we also want a, uh, a buddy giraffe. Now this buddy giraffe. If you, don't know, if you don't know what buddy giraffe is, it's the exact same thing as her giraffe where he just sort of like explores on his own. So right now he'll just be exploring on his own. But um, you'll notice he's like super close to me and he's not, uh, he's not worried. He's not worried at all. He's not running away like the other giraffe is. So he's, he's my buddy. He's my buddy. So if I just uh, start running away, he'll all of a sudden want to follow me, because he's my buddy. He's my buddy giraffe. And this one is the one that runs away. No, get away! <laughs> get away! Oh, buddy giraffe is incapacitated. When am I going to do a face reveal? So I said uh, I gave two milestones that you guys can unlock for a face reveal. Uh, one is going to be a hundred thousand subscribers Exactly or the next one is uh, or, or the other one is probably a lot easier to get 100 channel members So I think we already have like seven set so we're already seven percent of the way there uh, Yeah, or <laughs> it's pretty close to one-tenth of the way there already no, 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 Drift, stop, 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 don't do that, don't, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Drift, I, I know you're excited for it, but like, you can't ride that. It's not built for you, you just can't. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, alright, get out of here, buddy Drift. No, I, I, I don't know what to paint this. Let's give it a, a black. How much is a member? I think it's like five bucks a month. It's, uh, here, here's the thing, here's the thing. Because for those that are, like, watching right now, some of them are going to be like, who pays for memberships? Blech. But you got to understand that it's, like, a way to support uh, your YouTubers, your, your favorite YouTubers. Um, so, like, personally, I prefer Patreon support over YouTube memberships. Uh, but... Well, whatever. It's it's a different platform. Like, sometimes it's more convenient for someone to do it on YouTube than Patreon. Uh, but either way, either way, if it's not, like, if you are not the type of person that's going to support a YouTuber for, because you want to see more content from them, or you want to you get, like, some sneak peeks or, or bonus content, or, by the way, I play games with my uh, supporters very rarely. <laughs> but if you want to play Scrap Mechanic with me, I think today... I'm also going to be playing some games with my supporters, so that's another reason to uh, become a member if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, but it's not really about the perks, or it shouldn't be, I should say. It's more about support. Like you want to see, you want to see my channel grow, and you want to see more content from me. That's more what it's about. So if you're a YouTube member, I take it as like a symbol, like you want to see more YouTube content from me specifically. If you're a Patreon supporter, I'm, I'm gonna take that as like you want to uh you want me to work on my mod content or something like that very not like not not youtube specific you know how do i be a member there should be a join button like a, a blue join button uh either on the stream or just my channel page or 
Okay, I'm back. What did I miss? You missed the explanation for why you need to become a member of this channel. Uh, because Giraffe... You're, you're gonna become a member of the Giraffe Herd. And, uh... You know, join your fellow Giraffe in stretching your neck to lick the clouds. Alright, I think, um... And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you are not qualified to be a, a giraffe. <laughs> Painted red, please. Um, yeah, we could. I probably don't need any of these blocks, but whatever. I'm just going to paint them anyway. Just for... My sanity. Orange is pretty fun. I joined the Discord. Well, I mean, that's not join. That's not becoming a member of the Discord is not exactly what I was talking about. But okay, that's not. I just hope you're aware that the perks that I was talking about are not for Discord members. Oh yeah, I do need to like I guess fill some of this extra. Yeah, I still need to fill this out a little bit right here. Just do something like that. Get rid of this. Get rid of all of this. Yeah, okay. Boy, I want to update the polygons so badly. I want to update them so badly, but I'm also, like, scared of that survival update that's upcoming. Shout out to the mod makers that aren't terrified of the upcoming update breaking all their stuff. But Durf, Patreon is much easier because it, I will like to 30 a month than five. Well, I don't have no, I have no idea. I mean, yes, I, I prefer Patreon support. And by the way, everyone who's a YouTube member or Patreon supporter or Twitch subscriber or big time donator on my streams, um, you all get access to the special room in my Discord. So uh, that like a lot of the perks are shared, I guess. And it's just like you choose how you want to support me. Uh, so if you want to choose to support my YouTube stuff or you choose to support my Patreon stuff or you choose to support Twitch streams, like that's up to you. 100% up to you. You know, whatever method's easier for you, uh, whatever you want to see more of, like it's just all up to you, man. But you do, like, we do have that shared uh, VIP room in the Discord. So, um, you know, any questions that you have or any any anything I care about my supporters so that's something you don't have to worry about at all just looking at these orange blocks drives me crazy Seeing any orange from the outside is a is a no-no. It's a sin. It's blasphemy. There's a, see there's orange. There's orange. I see it. You know, I just need to uh, cover this up actually. Set off a nuke when I see orange? No. No thanks. 
No thanks. I haven't saved this on a lift yet. So, no thanks. <laughs> and uh, we're still going to do some better skis. For sure. I'm getting hungry but scrap mechanic snowmobile hungry scrap mechanic snowmobile hungry <laughs> okay uh, so I got a base coat of black I am uh, FBI snowmobile uh, now what make the stream two parts it's too late no, it's not so late. It's uh, it's it, it's actually not so late. It's not so late. But I am gonna finish this. It's probably gonna be maybe a total of a three-hour stream. Um, because like honestly, I could just uh, I, I can just give this thing a paint job, call it done, and uh, and then just post it to the workshop, and that's it. Or I build the figurine to actually drive it, and it's a little bit of a longer stream. It shouldn't be too long though, because building a fig it's just a it's just a polygon thing. It's just a dude. Here, this is this is my dude. He's got a hunched back. Okay, this is oh wait, I'm 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 terrible. I'm terrible at everything. Okay, so this is his head, I guess. <laughs> his hunched back. Oh boy. Go see a chiropractor, dude. And uh, this is his legs, I guess. Hamster wheel of tank tracks, red stripes. Oh yeah, and I, sh I said I was gonna show you guys the Planet Namek mod. All right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys pick then, because <laughs> I'm I'm pretty comfortable with just painting this and uh, tossing it out of the workshop. But for the end of the stream, do you guys want to see um, uh, like uh, what uh, the the mod that I was talking about, the Planet Nav mod, or anything in specific? You know, sometimes I am truly envious of my own artistic ability. The only difference, like, the only thing that's really important here is just we gotta make him thick. Aw, oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, hop in this guy. And go for a ride. <laughs> uh, no, we have to actually, like, build the skis. I'm pretty sure. Am I stuck? Okay. We gotta build the skis. Uh, I, I'll, I'll give a try to a hamster wheel of... No, I think I'll do that another stream. Another stream. Another stream I'll do the mod. Or, or, or uh, I'll, I'll do the hamster wheel thing another day. Another day. Another day, another dollar. Um... Definitely, uh, definitely doing this part wrong.
I also didn't make any easy way to get up this thing at all. Oh, you gotta love that turn. Mmm, look at that turning power. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, I think it's uh, time that I actually hook up that steering. There we go, the steering glitch that I had in there for the whole time. Yeah, now we are... Oh, no. No, 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 not this again. Really? Just because of the steering? I... No. Durf, what's the time? It's 4.20.69. It's actually 4.50. Okay, okay. Before before I start, you know, Harry Pottering my way out of here, um, I need to I need to finish building that uh, shield. For the tread. Oof. Okay, I hope that's enough. I actually can't see what's in there anymore, so let's just try to break it again and uh, hope it's not broken anymore. That's the way to debug stuff, right? Durf, do you live in Canada? I certainly do. I certainly do. Okay, that's definitely preventing the glitch from happening, which is very nice. And the steering is working pretty good, too. All right, so I think uh, I think let's just give this a nice paint job. I'm going to toss it on the workshop with this guy riding it, because you guys are going to... I'm going to ask you guys to, you know, build... build your ideal rider. Uh, I am thinking about maybe replacing these things. I don't know. No, I think these are good as is. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, there's usually, like, um, some other stuff here, too. Um, well, nah, this isn't that big of a deal. I mean, I don't know. I was thinking about, uh, like, there's usually, like, a little lip, like this. But, like, how do I attach that without it looking ridiculous? Like that? It's not too bad, I guess. We're really going to need those uh, frictionless polygons pretty soon. There's so, there's so much that I need to update with the polygons. I'm going to give... Uh, I'm going to do like... Um, I'm going to do a small like preview of the update that I'm going to do. I'm going to make like RGB polygons uh, for all the new polygons. There's like uh, between 8 and 12 new 1x1x1 one by one by one polygons. Uh, like if you consider just this a one by one polygon this is a single polygon there's like between eight and twelve of the new set and I, i'm gonna get i'm gonna make them rgb and i'm gonna make uh all between one by one by one and 16 by 16 by 16 just as sort of like a preview i mean three by three by three between one and three for all dimensions geez not the whole set the whole set's gonna be millions of parts no way But yeah, the, the little preview pack, 
polygon pack. I'm, I want to do that soon, relatively soon. I just hope it's going to be before the big update. It's it's not. It's not going to be before the survival update, but whatever. Do a Minecraft stream so we can help you. Uh, we can help make you pro. Um, nah. Is it a street? Minecraft might be one of those things that uh, like I also probably will just uh, play on Twitch and then post the recorded footage later. This seems really silly, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> 